welcome to Lunchtime Jewelry with Emily. Um, I am ready for the second half of this bag. Um, I've changed up my um, collection because it looks like I've got a lot of little bits. Um, so I will just we'll dump it out and we'll go through it. Um, don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, and um, leave a comment. Uh, let me know um, what your favorite piece has been, uh, if you have any information that would be useful. Um, let's see, what else? Um, or even just to say hi. Um, and then also give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, looks like we have a smartwatch. Hey, and this one came with a charger. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't see any kind of maker. Um, so it might just be your generic one that, you know, you could get anywhere. Um, but interesting, I'll have to charge it and see if it works. Yeah. Okay, we've got another watch here. This is also a fossil. It's got the mother of pearl and the rhinestones, stainless steel, I imagine. Ooh, it is oh, dusty, dusty, dirty in that crevice. Uh, you guys can't even see it. It's dusty, dirty, yuckies. All right. Um, we have um, a leather corded bracelet and on it is a um, gold tone, kind of like a um, bolo. Um, and it looks like it's a lake with maybe a fish jumping out or something. Oh no, it's a whale. I see it, it's a whale. Whale, whale, whale of a tail. Um, it's got a fold over clasp and I don't see any markings. There's like a scratch there, but I think that's exactly what it is, is a scratch. Um, but that's very nice. Let's see what this is. I like me some natural stones. Um, ooh, what do we got here? Do, do. Okay. Well, let's see. We've got some magnetic action going on here from a bracelet. Okay. This is very cool. Okay. We've got this articulated little spinny thing. See that? On one side, it's a, looks like a fan type thing, flowers, flowers on both sides. Um, darn magnet. <laughs> and then um, we have this like crackly, stone or piece of glass, we'll have to test it, um, to make it look like maybe a piece of wood. Um, and then uh, it also has this stationed um, leaf. And when I say stationed, it means um, that it is in one location and doesn't move. So it's on the side of the necklace like asymmetrical, um, and then it has this piece. Uh, let's test it real quick. It feels warm, so I don't, I think it's probably like an acrylic, yeah. Um, it's, it, it's like an acrylic, but it has like this really cool crackle 
look to it. I don't know if you, if it's picking up on the camera or not. But that's really cool. And I don't see a maker. But that is cool. Um, put that over here. Oh, and then I remember we got to test those. Ooh, we've got a tiger's eye, a tiger's eye stone ring. And I don't. Maybe I see a marking. Let's take a look. Uh, I don't think, I don't think so. I think it's just like, um, marks in the metal. Oh wait, there's some kind of writing in there. Oh, I can't get a good enough angle though. No. No. I have no way of seeing it. Um, it needs some serious cleaning. It's like super dusty. Um, but um, it looks like maybe it's like an antique gold or a uh, maybe a brassy color. Um, I'll have to get in there with some cleaner because I don't want to mess up the stone. Um, so that's cool. It's got a little wear on it. A little bit of wear. Okay. We've got a pendant with some very red sparkly Teardrops, open backs, but foil backing rhinestones. Um, and I don't see any marks. And there's like a little gap um, at the bail. Um, so that's probably why it's like on its own. But um, I'm sure you could fix that just Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Ooh, that's a pretty earring. Um So, how is everybody doing today? Uh is everybody enjoying their lunch? <laughs> um it, it has been so beautiful. My tulips have bloomed. Very excited about it. Um, this is a napier. It's got a little bit of vertigree, but I think I could just scratch that off. It's a napier, gold plated or gold toned. I don't, napier does, isn't usually, no, it's got some pull. Um, Napier really isn't known for doing like fine metals. Um, they were more popular during the time when um, fine metals weren't used as often because they were used for the war. Um, so they used, you know, a mix of metals um, or alloys. So that's very nice though, Napier. Napier has some really nice pieces and they stand up to the test of time for sure. Um, it's weird like, you know, you'll find some older pieces and they'll just still look like they're almost brand new. Um, we've got some Marquise dangle earrings um we've got this like swirly earring let's see if i can try to um get out all the necklaces and then we'll go through the earrings um and then every so often i go through my earrings again 
And I think this time when I go through them, I'm gonna like pull the ones that are still wearable um, and keep them together. And then the ones that are um, in no condition to, to be worn, I'm gonna end up putting them into a craft lot. Okay, this is a um, mother of pearl disc um, with some seed beads and it's on a multi-threaded cord and it's a Leah, C Leah Sophia and it has a three inch extender. This is really beautiful, this mother of pearl. Um, and one thing that I've learned um, recently is that they're no longer harvesting uh, abalone to use um, for jewelry. Um, so that is going to um, start driving up the prices of abalone. So um, keep your eye out for it while it's cheap um, because in the future it's going to... Um, it's probably going to get expensive because it's not going to be used for new jewelry. Okay, we got another watch with the Mrs. and Mr. Snowman. Got a watch band with the browns and the glass beads. We got one of these ropey wrap bracelets. It's got the love, the anchor, the infinity symbol, and an arrow. I do not see a maker. It does have an extender. Ooh, that's always helpful. A bag of findings of gold tone fish hooks, which is good because I think I only have silver. Ooh, this is pretty. Um, this is got a floral design, and it says AccuTime Watch Corp. And stainless steel. Um, it is really, really worn, really worn. That's going to go into crafting. Well, it'll go into my watch lot. Oh, look at this wonderful, wonderful. Ooh, see, we have the other Sarah Coventry earring. I saw somebody selling the Sarah Coventry set of the necklace and earrings on whatnot. And I just, I wanted to like mess it or like make a comment like, ooh, I just found a set of those. But I didn't, I controlled myself. Um, <laughs> always like, don't wanna be like um, one of those people that like, that's nice you have that set, but I have it too. You know, like I don't want to be that person um, or like the you're better person um, or I'm better person. Um, so I just kind of keep my comments to myself. Okay, we've got a silver chain, just a simple silver chain, probably lost its uh, pendant somewhere in this mix. Okay, the spring ring, or the lobster class. Okay, that is not magnetic. So I will test it. We have another dainty chain with two pave balls and a faux pearl. And it has a lobster clasp. And let's check this chain okay this also is not magnetic so we will test that one 
pants, yes. earrings. Got a double. We got a double. Um, this double has a textured uh, link chain. This looks like mother of pearl. It has a great flash in there. If you guys can see the flash. Oh, if I show it to you. I need to back out a little bit because I think I'm too close for you guys. How about there? Um, so it has this great flash right there. You can kind of see it. It's great. Um, and then I have a smaller one. And this is Mother of Pearl. Um, that is just gorgeous. It has a fish. In it. Oh, my God. That is adorable. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So this hook thing, look at the bottom of it. You know what that is? It's a fishing reel. So like the fishing reel and the hook, you know, get it? That's so clever. And then I went the mother of pearl. I absolutely love it. Or does that just say words? Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just words. Hold on. Oh my gosh. It says Monet. <laughs> it says Monet, but I'm sticking to it looking like a fishing reel. I got fishing on the brain. I want to go fishing so bad. I told my husband, let's go for the afternoon bite. <sighs> we just don't know of anywhere good to fish right now. Um, so this is a watch um, keychain, and it's got this little purple um, bead. It feels kind of cold, so I'll test it. Um, purple face. It still has like this like protective plastic over it, so the screen is in very good condition. It says calm something. Calm. Calm A. <laughs> it says calm on the back. Um, stainless steel, case back, Japan movement, calm. Okay. And it says quartz right there. Okay. Those ones. Castle ones are good. One over here, the Monet over here. I'm trying to keep the 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 desirable pieces together. Um, where did I put my Monet piece? I want my Monet piece in there. Okay, we got another chain here. This one is magnetic. Okay, I'm not sure what happened. My camera cut off after 18 minutes. Um, so, um, and now it shows that I only have a minute and 55 seconds. <laughs> um, so I noticed that I meant, like you couldn't see me. I was off screen um, when I was showing you this um, necklace, uh, the chain needs to be tested, but it's a little pave and faux rhinestone necklace. Um, so that's going to be tested. Um, and then this is kind of where I left off, uh, or at least I remember this magnetic bracelet. Um, it's uh, faux marcasite um, with some just crystal rhinestones. Um, no barky, oh, excuse me, and a magnetic, magnetic clasp. Okay. All right. That is pretty. Um, so I'm still working on 
untangling this. This looks like a station necklace. Um, let's see if I can differentiate and get out one that is Okay, my camera is about to cut off again. One second. It will double strand. Just is makes a mess. Oh, we have another one of these closures. You know, one of those ones that have them. Um, it's a like a hidden class. Um, but it has an S on it. See? Um, but I'm going to have to put this aside because I don't want to waste too much time because I don't have much time, um, recording time. So I will uh, get that untangled to show you later. We got a pin that says Grandpa Beck's Games. It's pretty heavy. Let's see, what are these bars? These are earrings. Um, we've got a unicorn pendant. We've got another green stretchy bracelet with glass beads. Um, the stretch is really bad. That's gonna go into crafting. We have a rose gold necklace with little clear Rhinestone, it's just plastic. Um, looks in pretty good shape still. Um, let's see, we've got this funky earring. We've got a Santa Claus button cover. We got some Claire's reindeer earrings. We got these acorn um, leather earrings in the package. We've got an earring there. We've got, ah, oh, we've got a match. These little beads. Um, oh, there was something I said I was going to test, but I forgot what it was. Got these gold tone earrings. This one is really cool. Look at this. It's a moonstone or opal. I think it's opal, actually. And it's got this, like, silver tone. I'll have to test that. Um... It's really cool. Um, let's see if we have a partner. Ooh, we have another ring. Turquoise ring. And it works for my middle finger. That's pretty. I like that. Pretty. There's our other opalite. It's either opal or opalite or moonstone. One of those I'll have to do my research, of course. But those are cool. These enamel earrings. More enamel earrings. These are definitely 80s. Um, those remind me of Dr. Seuss in the Lorax. <sighs> um... We got this wonky thing. This looks like it's gonna be silver. Yeah, it's marked right there. Mexico. Okay, I have a match. I thought I have this. Look. We've got our meshy earrings, meshy hoopy earrings. 
like a hammered hoops that look like they're still in good condition. Um, we've got some fun painted 80s earrings. Got these hoopy earrings. A good time going through earrings. There's these like paper clippy ones, red, kind of like an orangey red. Those are cool. Ooh, look, I found mates for those ones. How about our mate for our Sarah Coventry? Mates for our Sarah Coventry set. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, some little Easter egg ones. Black Easter egg. Uh, here we got these ones. Ooh, we've got the helix, the double helix DNA code earrings. Ooh, we've got these ones. Very uh, 70s, 80s. Those are usually clip-ons. I don't usually find those as posts. Um, we've got open work. Okay, freed up some room, but it doesn't look like it helped. Oh, I don't understand. Okay, we've got those. We got some Christmas bubbles. Christmas bubbles. We've got uh, we got some dangles. Ooh, we've got some pretty um, blue and white rhinestones. I want to test those because they look small. Um, we've got faux pearl dangles. We've got the black and white baubles. We've got white hoopies, but with white hoopies with green enamel. That's really cool. We've got these chandelier earrings. I need to look closer to see if there's a mark. I didn't see one now. Um, we've got some of these. I've been seeing these a lot, like these tinny 80s fan type. They're pretty ugly. <laughs> um, I shouldn't say that because somebody liked them loved them, but I do not. <laughs> okay, we have these um, gunmetal marcasite dangle earrings. And you know what? I just don't have enough space on my phone at the moment, so I'm going to end it here, and I will sort through the rest of these, and I'll show you the ones worth Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and don't forget to subscribe, like, and give me a thumbs up, even though my, my phone sucked today. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. everybody this is Emily from lunchtime jewelry I just wanted to take a minute to invite you to my whatnot show Christmas in July raid train 
from 4 to 6 Eastern Time on 4th of July. I hope to see you guys there. Bye.